Um, do you think he is the, the the toughest man to beat in the division? It's definitely between him and Crawford. You know, Crawford is uh, definitely more technically sound, but you know, I, I wouldn't think he's as strong as Spence or or anything like that. It doesn't have the same size, so I would say they're the both they're both the toughest, but in their own element. Now I think I'm rejuvenated and I'm ready to get back in the gym and train hard and uh, hopefully fight one of the top fighters. I don't I don't want to tune up fight. top fighters. I don't I don't want to tune up fight. fight like I said it would be. Um, but he's the top dog. And I want the top spot. So I'm here to tell Errol Spence, I want you next, baby. Let's get it on. Young champ, man, I just got some great news. God is working. You know how, you know how Adrian Broner fought Ashley Theophane? Uh, Earl Spence about to, not about to fight Maurice Victorious Lee and get his ass whooped. Could Spence be taking a tune-up bout? According to Maurice Lee's social media, he will be the next guy fighting Errol Spence. Now, for this fight to happen, it's gotta be approved by the IBF and WBC. And like most boxing fans, I would like to see Spence in a tune-up bout to see where he's at. But Maurice Lee is clearly a second-tier fighter. He's not even ranked in the top 15 in any organization. Lee has one loss on his record. But the guy he lost to was 8, 12, and 2. This article's on Boxing News 24, and they make a couple of valid points. One point they're making is that maybe their management team and his coach saw Spence in training, and they didn't like what they saw. And we got to remember, Earl Spence is recovering from a car accident. And looking at his face and body, he's probably 30 or 40 pounds overweight. And when I mean overweight, he's not even close to 147. So I don't see why would it hurt to have a tune-up bout. You just don't know where you're at right now. Your team don't know where you're at. All this talk about Crawford, your team don't even think you're ready for Danny Garcia. Maurice Lee is 12 and one, two draws and five knockouts. And it doesn't sound like a bad record, but you look at the competition he has faced, it's very mediocre. I mean, one of the guys he fought was eight and 12 and he lost to that guy. And there's another guy he fought that was five and 34 that he beat. Two things that are interesting about Maurice Lee is that he's a southpaw and he's 5'10". Okay, maybe five things. He has a 74 inch reach, he's a Mayweather fighter, and he's also never been knocked out. So maybe he's not the best tune up opponent in the world, but he seems like he's durable. And coming into the ring, I expect Spence to be real rusty. What's wrong with getting a couple of rounds in? And if you knock him out, you'll be the first guy to knock him out. Maybe people start believing in your power again. I hope Maurice Lee is telling the truth and not just running his mouth because a tune-up bout is much needed for Spence. Errol Spence having a tune-up bout is a good move. Better safe than sorry. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what you think about this situation. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.